What's up, everybody? It's your boy Foot Shocker, the nice H Jog here with our Week Four P E P E P E B A Week Four matchup here, going against Razor Claw. This is a pretty big game for us. We win this game, we go four and zero, we one hundred percent clinch one of the two seeds, and I found it in each division. It's only the top two that make playoffs, so it's a straight to the semifinals bracket. I really, really hope we win this game because if I lose this game, I'm not feeling comfortable with my Week 5 matchup. So I'm really hoping. If you guys are excited, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Foot Shocker crew today because you're going to the crew. And with that being said, let's get into this match. I am nervous. I am as nervous as any man should be. I am scared. As any man should be. <sighs> Nervous, man. We need this win. And I'm not trying to go undefeated. If I see the opportunity to, you know, go for it, I go for it, you know. I'm not going to try to go undefeated. But this is at least the one game of the last two I need this win for. Um... What's the biggest thing I need to see him not bring against me? Um, maybe I don't know really. <sighs> I don't know why I'm being delayed here. I hate when people do this, man. I really do. Stupid phone. Give me freaking Discord notifications. There we go. He did bring the roly coly. Wow, wow, he brought a lot. He brought a lot what we were not expecting. So he ended up bringing his G Max Garboder, which was something he could have still brought. I'm surprised to see no Ferrophore, no Diggersby, and everything like that. So that's going to be huge. We see the roly coly. Cloyster, I also knew, was a potential. Uh, no, uh, Skarmory is there. I guess Skarmory had some potential to show up. Not the greatest, but... So, let's think about this here. My Golden Eye... Pretty much wins here. My Nuts and Bolts, dude. They look... They're looking pretty good here. I think he's going to leave with the Roly Coley or the Skarmory. I'm actually leaving with Melmetal. I think this is a bit of a risk, but I think it's worth it. He does leave with this. I'm going to do Iron Defense right now. As he probably sets up his Stealth Rocks, which is going to definitely be annoying. The good news is, I get my. Um, Iron defense up. He goes into the Skarmory. Skarmory. Defensive. Metal Metal. Wrong button. Uh, Thunderbolt can potentially two shot here. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt here. Let's do 43%. That's fine, I can play this game, dude. Body press, that did a lot. So I am now plus six, and he is now plus four. Thunderbolt's still my best play right here. He just 27%.
I think I still fire off a Thunderbolt here. Get rid of this Skarmory. Actually, if he gets rid of his Flying Typing right here. Nope, not doing enough. Thunderbolt's to play. It sucks losing Melmetal. I probably should have went a little bit more with some Fizz Def with Melmetal. That's a little unfortunate. But, um... Can't believe mine. I'm guessing he's Rocky Helmet because he hasn't revealed... Uh, so he does reveal Roost. I think I still Thunderbolt here. Dude. Where's my para? Dude. I'm going to body press this turn. The Rocky Helmet. Wow. That did absolutely nothing to him. I'm going to click Thunderbolt here. Body press. Dust, unfortunately, take me out. So that unfortunately is bad. So Inteleon. 30 to 35 percent. I should kill this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna stream. Nice. Get Skarmory out of the way. Here comes the. Okay, my phone needs to stop this. So let's think here. Gar, Odor. Let's just assume your offensive spikes. Um, I too hit KO you. I don't. Interesting. I'm gonna Hydro Snipe again. Is he max guards? Smart play. Do I think I save this? No, I could win this still. I'm going for the snipe shot. Goes with the Malador, does kill me. Okay. I think I go sneaky here. No. I think I go mens. Actually, I just realized something. I can't hit that really coldly. I'm gonna hurricane. Do connect. Mens gets killed. Let's go. So mens gets rid of the garboder. Okay. This is possible. It's not as easy, though. Hmm. Should have figured he max guard there. I didn't think about it. I probably should have saved this. I probably should have went into... I could still potentially win this with zero aura. But I need to kill 
Blaze again or the other one first. So in comes Oli Coley. I'm going to right into my avatar here. He sets up Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go for Calm Mind here. Gotta have Toxic. Unless he's got Spikes. Explosion. Okay. So that technically goes as a kill for Zero Aura, which I'll take. In comes Scolipede. Scolipede. Your Swords Dance. There, uh... Plus one. Earthquake does 79 to 93%. I'm going to double out here. I expect him to click protect here. Yes, he does! So now I have to make a really risky play here. Out of curiosity, if it's Swords Dance Blaziken versus my Insin, he has to click Close Combat. I'm going to risk it in Parting Shot here. As we catch the blaze again, let's go. And I just go for Hurricane here. Or I can Dragon Dance on the Protect. I'm gonna Hurricane. Literally still no reason not to hurricane. I think I'm Skullpeed. Let's go, Mint! Okay, we still have a possibility here. What can kill Cloyster? Cloyster. Salamence. Hurricane straight up knocks him out. I have to land it, though. Mint, please. Mint, please. I lose. That, that's garbage. I'm sorry, that's garbage. That's just garbage, dude. That's literally just garbage. Fire Blast doesn't even knock him out. I think I just have to Willow Wisp. Dude, are you kidding me? Okay, um... I sack Zera. I think I sack Zera here. He does close combat. I bring in my Dust Noir. I click Trick Room. Stone Edges. It's a crit! Alright, come on. Please, Dust Noir. Please, Dust Noir. 
protects. That's fine, pair. Fair play. Come on, Dust Noir. Come on, Dust Noir, please. Please. Let's go! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, dude. Holy crud. Oh, that was a whirlwind of emotions right there. But with that, we should be able to clinch our ticket and go to the playoffs now. I'm always going to still try to win this match. I have a very terrible matchup in with. But I'm, I'm so happy we won, man. Oh, my God. That was a nerve-wracker of emotions. Oh, my God. Freaking Incineroar saving my butt. Dude, oh, my God. I would have lost. In hindsight, I probably should have straight up went for the flame for the fire blast. Knowing he didn't kill me, and then I would have killed him, and I would have won. The, I think I still would have been like a 3-0, or 2-0, I think. But, oh my god. Oh my god. I, oh, Dust Snore's the best Ghost type Pokemon. Don't even at me. You can have your Dragon Balls, all this. I've got a freaking Dust Noir. Oh my god, Dust Noir, I love you. But, <laughs> anyways, if you guys are excited, if you guys enjoyed that whirlwind of emotion battle, leave a like, comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to join the Thrill Shocker crew. crew, crew eh, join, join the Thrill Shocker crew today because you'll be feeling the crew. We are now up to 27 subs. We have really jumped up lately. And we have recently just over hit over 20, about 21 to 20, 2200 views on this channel. And with this new, the revamp of my channel hasn't even been a year old. And we're already hitting such big milestones right now. And I just got to thank you all so much. I figured I'd add this into the video real quick. But thank you all so much. This really does mean a lot to me. And the support really does mean. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment down below like I said, and I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, everybody, peace.